I always say I'm going to do an earlier video and then I look at the clock and I'm like, oh, 10 or 11 at night, I should probably do this. Anyways, someone on my Tumblr by the name of 1900 Knits a Lot or Kyle, has asked me to show him how I made the gauntlets. Basically what you want to do is have rectangle, very easy to make, you can have any design, any yarn. The thing that's most important is doing this next step. So what I do is when I end it right here, I just leave a long tail, so that way I save yarn and it stays more secure. So what I'm going to do is of course take from this Hello? Yeah, I'll be right there. Say hi, bub. Hi. Do you have anything you want to say to my followers? Uh, not really. You're boring. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Be right back. Cool. Alright, this is my little brother. His YouTube will be down in the description. He tends to sing and sing covers. It's really cute. He's wearing one of the first hats that I made. Okay, you can go away now. Okay, back to business. Kyle, this is what you do next. You just start sort of like your to make a wristband. If you've ever made a wristband, then you just sort of like start sewing it up. Ah, here I am trying to teach someone how to do something and I do it wrong. I went all the way out and I didn't mean to. I was thinking too much. So you go about halfway, wherever you're comfortable with the thumb hole being. And then what I do personally is instead of cutting the yarn, I weave it through this side of the yarn until I get to a nice point, just very loosely, don't tug on it too much. And then I tie a very, very small knot just to keep the yarn in place, just very loose. So you see how the stitch ended right here, but I weaved it through and ended right here. That'll give me a hole for my thumb. And then I just start going right here. Then you just finish it off at the end, you tie a knot. So, you know, now because of you, I have to make another one because I only made one and I need to have a matching set and I'll just probably put a flash symbol on it and give it to one of my friends who likes the flash. Or maybe I'll put a dead full face on it. So that's basically how you make a gauntlet thing. Just slip it on. If it's a little tight, don't worry, it'll stretch. I really like doing stuff like that. If you want me to show you how to do something, just ask and it was really fun. Kyle, you were the only one to ever reblog any of my posts, so thank you. And to anyone who's following me on Tumblr, I have made a new vlog for my crocheting vlogs. I don't know why I started putting it on that, but I am starting a whole new vlog and I will put a link in the description and I will also post the name on my actual Tumblr that I'm using right now. So yay! I told you guys how I was cutting up unwanted yarn for stuffing for my Deadpool plushie and for plushies coming up. Well, I have this thing, this yarn carrier, and I just filled it with cut yarn. And I'm so done with it because it's full and it won't take anymore, so I sort of have to be done. And I was actually able to work on my Deadpool plushie a little bit, and I have something that'll really help me. I have something to show you. I found this website, and it's really going to help me because the grid basically every square is a stitch and so it'll help me with the eyes. This is what the eyes are going to look like on my plushie. So if you like the video, please like it and share it or reblog it depending on what you're on. If you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment. And if you like me, please subscribe. Bye!